Oh, how was that? We're going to do a cool down session now, post run, time to take a few breaths, take a few stretches, help the body feel better after your run. post run cool down make sure you take a good drink of water and as you find your breath let's begin in our balance so taking hold of one leg maybe the other hand rests on a prop or a chair as you start to allow your body to settle as you find your breath here maybe just bringing a little bit more of a stretch feeling you feel that in your quad and then we're going to release take that same stretch on the other side so we're trying to balance this time but you can use your chair or your prop to hold on to if you need to start to slow down your breathing find your breath here as you balance a little bit of core engagement and then release and I'm going to invite you to kick off your shoes now and come down onto the earth. So I'm going to begin seated, extending the legs out long for Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. This is a hamstring stretch. So extend the legs long, the toes are slightly drawing towards you and then you're going to walk your fingers out towards the top of your mat and allow your body to melt down here until you feel sensation in the back of your legs. And maybe you take hold of the toes, maybe you use your arms as levers to help draw you deeper into this pose. But do what you need to do to find a stretch, but without pain. So slow down the breath, notice the sensations, perhaps energetically drawing your hips towards the back of the mat, subtly energetically pressing your heels towards the top of your mat to really feel that stretch in the legs. Maybe find a length in the spine here, it's a good opportunity to lengthen out through the back. And then releasing from this stretch, slowly, slowly come on upright once again. And then go and pass in a cow face pose. Take one leg over the top, then wrap the other around, if that's doable in your hips. Round right down through the sit bones. And then you're taking the opposite hand to the leg that's on top to reach up towards the sky. And the other hand comes up the back, and maybe your fingers can reach one another, forming a bind or cow face pose. Keep your heart lifted. Tune into your breath as you feel the nourishment, the stretch in your shoulders. Lengthen right through to the crown of your head, so long and tall through the spine, right to the top of the head. And then release the bind and a bit of sensation into the shoulders, maybe rolling the shoulders. Release the bind in your legs and maybe you want to move your legs around a little bit. And then take this pose on the other side. So bring the other leg over the top this time. And then sit to tall. The opposite arm to the leg that's on the top comes over the top and the other hand reaches up the back. And if the fingers don't quite meet, you can simply hold on to the back of the t-shirt if you want to find a little bit of something to hold on to. So the heart is lifted, breathe ease into your shoulders, finding length in the spine right to the crown of your head. Exhale, ease into the shoulders, into the hips. And then as you're ready, you can.
can release that. And release and relax the shoulders. Give them a bit of care and attention. Extend the legs and then come on down to your back body. So we're going to nourish the hips in reclining figure four stretch. So bring the feet to the mat. Extend one leg to the sky and then rest that ankle across the opposite knee. And if you pick up both feet from the mat, feet are flexed, maybe you reach through and hug in the side. You need a bit more of a stretch here. But you want to be feeling a stretch in your hips. The leg that's closest to you, you want to feel something happening in that hip. Are you able to breathe right down into the belly? So slowing down your breath, can you expand the belly? As you breathe in and slowly relax it as you breathe out. And release from this stretch. And we'll take the same stretch on the other side. So as you're ready, we're going to lengthen the opposite leg, rest the ankle over the knee then picking up the feet. So you might stay here, this might be enough, or you could reach through of that thigh in. And try to relax your tension in the face, relax your jaw and your neck. And breathe ease into that one. So an alternative pose here is pigeon pose or sleeping swan, where we take a stretch for the hip using the weight of the upper body to bring a stretch into the hip. So if that's in your practice, you might like to head into that one as an alternative. But just um, always do what your body needs. You could change from one day to the next. Take another slow round of breath here. And then please release both feet to the mat. Now our last hip nourishing stretch is to allow the knees to fall out wide, soles of the feet together, one hand over the heart and the other hand resting on the belly. Supta Baddha Konasana. It's an opportunity for you to continue to cool down as you continue to nourish the hips. As you exhale, the knees to fall out a little further to the sides. Slowing down your breath, feeling the body starting to settle, starting to cool down. And you can stay here for as long as you like. Or if it's time for you to move on with your day, you can bring yourself up to seated. Remember to drink plenty of this. Keep yourself hydrated. Thank you for joining me.